Currently live at Millsboro River Elementary in Henderson County, showing us how this bus is really going to help hey kids guys. this summer. Yes, we're trying to behave. We're getting a little giggly out here. It's been a long morning, but for good reason, because this is an important but really, really fun story, I think. And clearly, we got the memo. We all dressed we for all it. Have... This is the, yeah, that's right, our, our uniforms. Talking about students, though, they are receiving some really important summer meals. Lunch is coming to them because of really generous people in the community. Donations have helped outfit this bus. It's going to bring those lunches into communities where students may be a little bit economically disadvantaged there can get them, eat them, and also get some great other tools. We've been talking about books, something that if you're watching at home, you can even donate. We'll tell you where to do that uh, just for a little extra uh, learning over the summer. But really, these meals, you guys have impressed us, been able to get them to these students where they are. So what's next for the bus? I know this was a great thing that started this year. The bus did, not the feeding program. But what's next, Amanda? So the whole goal, I mean, this is a pilot program. Our goal is just to expand. Obviously, by going these six stops is not hitting all the kids that we saw or see and wow. do continue to see um, and need. So the goal is just to expand from this um, uh, from this point on and um, accommodate those students students that are in the highest need and the highest risk. Very good. And we were talking about books, donating them. Any location in particular? Absolutely. Folks that want to uh, donate can do so at the Henderson County Public Schools Central Office awesome. on 4th Avenue, Office of Title I. Be happy to take those and thank you. Very good. Also, last thing, numbers. You guys, they have maybe... I don't know, tripled since you've started this, but just huge, huge jumps every single year. Now the first year with the bus, you say you expect to reach just tons and tons of people. Yes, we're expecting to reach alone on the six stops that we have on the mobile bus and the two um, stationary locations, about a thousand students or a thousand meals a week. Wow, so, a week. A week. Unbelievable. Yes. All right, very, very good. Okay, and you know, this is obviously a community partnership. We've been talking about a grant that made all of this possible and hoping in the future we see a lot more like this. Guys, Thanks for being with us. Really, really cool story. Fred Tracy and I are going to line up for a meatball sub at one of these locations <laughs> you just watch. You're going to see us there. All right, guys, back to you. Sounds good. Thank you, Christine. No doubt. 8.46 is the time. Emily's got your line.